for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Titus 2, 11 through 14. On September 15, 2024, in Bainbridge, Ohio, eight-year-old Zoe Wilson snatched the keys to her mother's SUV, her wallet, and ID, and went on a joyride to a local Target 11 miles away, treating herself to a shopping spree, all while her family and police searched for her. In an interview with the New York Times, published on Friday, October 4th, Tangy Wilson, Zoe's mother, gave an account of the events that took place. Okay. Bedford Heights Police on Fire. This is Brian with a transfer for an erratic driver. It's in uh, East Mount Rockside from Bartlett. It's going to be a white Nissan Rogue all over the road and a collar with eyes on it. When we take a deeper look at this event, it becomes obvious that this was another satanic ritual meant to exalt the devil and his antichrist. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Zoe Wilson is only eight years old. The number eight can be expressed as four plus four, which gives us the number 44 and points to Barack Obama. The date Zoe's joyride took place was September 15th. And as a result of this incident, her mother, Tangie Wilson, was interviewed by the New York Times on October 4th about the event. Since Octo means eight, October 4th is eight four, and also points to Obama's birthday. As of October 4th, there are only 88 days remaining in the year, and the number 88 points to Mercury, the trickster god and guide to souls in the underworld. Mercury carries the caduceus, which can be found in the lap of Baphomet. Notice we are shown Zoe holding up two fingers similar to Baphomet, which is the V for victory sign. The letter V also represents the number five and is a reference to the five-pointed star or pentagram worn by Baphomet. The astrological symbol for Mercury is an image of the horned god who is actually the same as the Joker. It is no coincidence then that the movie Joker, Foley Adun, was released on October 4th or 8 4 as well. The phrase Foley Adun means the madness of two, which is a delusion or mental illness shared by two people in close association. This is meant to point to the twin malevolent spirits that will inhabit and actuate the Antichrist or beast that rises from the sea and the false prophet, the beast that rises from the earth as found in Revelation 13, 1 and 11. Notice in this clip, the Joker is throwing up the V for victory hand sign. The same as Zoe, we can be sure then that the picture of Zoe also throwing up the V for victory was no coincidence. The victory symbol points to the fact that the beast will be given victory over the saints for a time and power over the people and nations of the earth as found in Revelation 13, seven through eight, which declares, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them 
and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world not only that but the v for victory symbol also connects back to obama's speech in berlin at victory column where he announced his vision for the one world beast system the walls between the countries with the most and those with the least cannot stand the walls between races and tribes, natives and immigrants, Christians and Muslims and Jews cannot stand. These now are the walls we must tear down. The mention of victory also connects back to the sacrifice of Nipsey Hussle and his album, Victory Lap. Where we at, Nip? Man, we in Tulum at the Mayan ruins. Just climbed off the mount, I mean, a uh, pyramid, got to the top. Seen the whole jungle, shooting a victory lap video, victory lap video. Remember, Nipsey's given name actually means God will rise. My face, it said, I don't know what side. I think yeah, it's this side, it said, it said God will rise. As a reference to the rising sun. Speaking of the rising sun, this incident with Zoe occurred during sunrise on Sunday. And Sunday points to the sun god and Obama whose logo is the rising sun, or sun on the horizon, which is a reference to the sun god Horus rising. Not only that, but Zoe drove herself to Target, and Target uses a circle with a dot in the middle, which is actually the astrological sign for the sun. In alchemical and hermetic traditions, suns are used to symbolize a variety of concepts, much like the sun in astrology. Suns can correspond to gold imagery. The connection of the sun to gold in alchemy is important and should not be overlooked. Alchemy is the medieval occult science that involved the pursuit of transforming base metals into gold, creating an elixir of immortality. The alchemical great work was the perfection of the human body and soul through the philosopher's stone, thereby turning man into gold or God. In fact, Egyptians considered gold to be the flesh of their sun god, Ra. We can be sure that the alchemical occult science of turning metal into gold or mortal into a living god was most definitely at play here because the name Zoe actually means life or living and in Greek mythology Zoe was King Midas' daughter who was accidentally turned to gold when he touched her. Thus the name Zoe points to a man becoming a living god. Be still and know that I am God. Know that I am God. Know not only that, but the alchemical symbol for the sun used by Target and its connection to gold was also associated with the king or Apollo, the fiery spirit or sulfur, the divine spark in man, nobility, and incorruptibility. The reference to the Midas touch, which turns the thing touched into gold and the name Zoe, which means living, most definitely points to the alchemy of turning man into God. The target symbol also holds an even more ominous meaning in connection with the alchemy of turning man into gold or God and the king Apollo. The target is actually a bullseye and points to the deadly head wound that the Antichrist must suffer and rise from before he is fully indwelt by the king of the bottomless pit, Abaddon or Apollyon. Now check this out. Zoe drove 11 miles to target and Strong's Concordance lists H11 as Abaddon, which is the place of destruction and ruin, Hades or hell. 
Abaddon is also the name of the king of the bottomless pit. Zoe's joyride, which was described as a bold act of rebellion, took place on Sunday in the state of Ohio. The state of Ohio points to Obama being in a state of spiritual enlightenment as evidenced by the phrase, Oh, hi, oh. This is a reference to Obama being raised up on high and exalted as God. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Further, the high O also points to the sun at its highest point in the sky as a reference to the sun or sun god being equated with the most high. You may remember in the movie I Am Legend, the character Robert Neville, which represents the bright and shining devil, says he is broadcasting on all AM frequencies as a reference to the AM or morning, which is the time of sunrise. He also says that he will be at the seaport as a reference to the beast that rises from the sea when the sun is at its highest point or highest elevation and illumination. My name is Robert Neville. I'm a survivor living in New York City. I am broadcasting on all AM frequencies. I will be at the South Street Seaport every day at midday when the sun is highest in the sky.